Netflix The Defenders. So this is the big crossover event from all the Marvel Netflix TV shows. So you have Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage all together as a team, you know, trying to accomplish one mission. So I'm going to go into a little bit of mild spoilers from the last shows. Uh, if, if you haven't seen Daredevil Season 1 and 2, Jessica Jones Season 1, Luke Cage Season 1, or Iron Fist Season 1, I know, that's a lot of shows. All of those shows pretty much lead up to this show, so there's a lot of things taken from those shows to set up this one big Defenders event. So pretty much in those shows, or for most of them, there have been, there's this organization called The Hand, and The Hand has been pulling strings all over New York, manipulating people, killing people, doing all kinds of shady things. Uh, Daredevil and Luke Cage, uh, yeah, not Luke Cage, Iron Fist in particular have dealt with The Hand. In fact, the, the Hand have been big parts of those shows. So in the beginning of the show, you have Iron Fist, who is trying to hunt down members of The Hand, because at the end of the show, uh, his village was destroyed where he came or where he was trained. So he's been trying to hunt him down and find out more information about him. Daredevil has since stopped being Daredevil. He's kind of retired and he's trying to, just to be a lawyer. And then Jessica Jones, she's also kind of quit being a detective. But in the beginning of the show, she's, you know, brought a case that interests her and she takes up, which leads her to joining the show. And Luke Cage, it's the same thing. Yeah, there's this kid who he's trying to help out and it just kind of leads them, you know, to fighting the Hand. So, like I said, the Hand is the big main bad guy of this show. And together, all four of them slowly come together and become a team to try to take out the Hand organization. Which is done fairly well. It's a, it's a little bit slow as uh, they don't, you know, come together, you know, at the first episode. But they slowly start meeting one each another, even if they don't know who they are exactly. But eventually, it all boils down to they, they realize these people have powers or what they do, and they come together as a team. So, in that regard, it's really good. So, I would say, if you haven't seen the first shows or the other shows, you can go into this show and still enjoy it. But I think you really have to watch those shows to get everything, because there's a lot of side characters and events that have happened that affect this show and I mean they do a good job of handling it so you can understand the, the series as a whole and not have to watch all the shows but I think you're better off watching all those shows I know it's a lot of shows but they're they're all pretty good except for Iron Fist is okay I didn't hate it a lot of people hated that show I just thought it was an okay show so overall Defenders is a good show or it's it's not amazing it's not bad I really enjoyed it there's a lot of great aspects to it. Like, they still have a lot of great fights, which a lot of the other shows tend to have. Daredevil, Daredevil has amazing fights. Luke Cage has good fights. Jessica Jones doesn't have the best fights because she's not really a fighter. And Iron Fist had some okay fights. They weren't as good as Daredevil, but they were still pretty good. So you get a lot of cool action scenes in this show. A lot of them that I really enjoyed, especially when the team got together. Which is one of the aspects I really loved about this. Luke Cage, you know, talking to Jessica Jones, really enjoyed. Uh, Jessica Jones pretty much talking to anyone in particular. She is awesome. So when she interacts with Daredevil, because Daredevil is the only one who wears a costume in this show. So anytime she interacts with him when he's wearing his costumes, like there's this one scene where she's like, nice ears, and he's like, they're horns. <laughs> because he has little devil horns on his costume, which I really love. So every time he puts on the costume, she's like, oh lord, here we go again, you know, so... It's really fun. I love these characters' interaction. Like Luke Cage and Iron Fist, who in the comic books are best friends. They do a good job interacting in this show. Like, I want to see more of these characters just interacting. Which, there was a good amount of that in this show. But it, like I said, it was kind of a slow build-up to get there. But if they do a second Defender series, I would love to see them all get together and just interact a lot more. Because like I said, they, they kind of form the team slowly. They don't really come together until I think the third episode. Like they, they more or less all meet each other by the second episode, or most of each other by the second episode. But I think it's by the third episode, which they all unite, which is fine. But the the only problem is is that this is an eight episode long series, so you kind of lose a lot of interaction that they could have had, which is unfortunate. But it's still it's still great interaction when they're together and when they're fighting together. So. 
Um, like I said, it's good, good show, a great character interaction, great character developments, um, you know, great characters in general. That's a lot of the stuff that I liked, you know, the fights and everything, but there were some things that I didn't enjoy. Like I said, there was times when the show felt a little slow, like it took a little while for them to join up, which is fine. I liked them intera interacting, you know, when they didn't really know who they were or slowly try to, you know, all their little plot points converging into one. It was really interesting, but like I said, it was a little slower than I think it needed to be. They probably could have met by the, the second episode, which I can't remember if they met at the end of the second episode or exactly in the third episode. But that's what I mean, where it was kind of just slow, like it kind of, it kind of blends together. It's just like, well, it took a while for them to meet. You know, you could tell me they met in the fourth episode and I probably believe you because it just kind of felt that way. But yeah, there's a lot of scenes that felt unnecessary and they probably could have made gone faster just you know cut them shorter so you know things would have felt a little bit more sped up and not so disjointed which because they're juggling a lot of things they're juggling four characters from four shows and those characters have supporting characters and they're juggling those characters because for the most part they're all in this show some of them you know have good parts in it just for you know character development or actually interact like uh, Claire and Colleen Wing and Misty Knight, they're probably the three side characters or supporting characters from the other shows who play an important role. The rest of the characters are there for character development for the other characters from their shows, but for the most part, they don't really do anything, which I kind of felt was unfortunate because uh, DC did their own big crossover with all their Arrowverse uh, TV shows from the WB or the CW, which I, it was like a fun, quick little show. But I enjoyed it, um, but a lot of their side characters did a lot more than these characters did. Like, you had Felicity Jones in that one, helping out in certain episodes and stuff. But for the most part of this show, they were there just for character interaction. Which worked, but I kind of wish they would have done more for them, so that was another negative. Um, what else? I, the ending kind of disappointed me a little bit. It was a decent ending, but I was hoping the battle, which was a decent battle, I was hoping for a much bigger epic looking battle but they gave us a decent battle which is fine but then the end it, it sets up a little bit of stuff for maybe the next seasons but I, I wasn't too satisfied with it you know I just felt unsatisfied it wasn't a bad ending I just felt unsatisfied so overall it was a good enjoyable show I would give it a 7 out of 10 I, I would definitely recommend if you're a big Marvel fan or if you watched all the other Netflix Marvel shows Go check it out. It's fun and cool and interesting. You know, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. You know, I really love Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, so it was great to see those characters again and see him interacting. Iron Fist, like I said, I thought it was okay. He was a lot better in this show, so it was great to see him, you know, hang out with the rest of the characters. And he felt like a better character, better written. So hopefully if they do, uh, which I think believe they are doing Iron Fist 2, hopefully Iron Fist is a lot, you know, better in that show like they made him in this show. So, like I said, 7 out of 10, great, enjoyable, go check it out. I, I do recommend it, you know, it wasn't the greatest show, but I think they had a lot of characters to juggle and a lot of things to kind of come together. Um, so, overall, like I said, it's enjoyable. But if you watched the last episode, watch it all the way through, like Marvel movies, there's an end thing. It's not an end credit scene, it's just a preview for the Punisher series that's supposed to come out later this year. So, watch that. Um, it was a good preview for that show, you know, so I think it's online. So either way, you know, stay tuned, watch it. Like I said, recommend it, go watch it. If you watch the show, uh, what'd you think? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? You know, do you hope they add some new characters to the, the Defenders if they do a second season, which I hope they do, which I'm sure they will do? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.